Hi there. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can lock down the parts of a Google slide that you do not want your students to be able to move around. The first way is just changing the background. The second way I just discovered yesterday, and it's my go-to method from here on out, and you'll see why. All right, I'm going to, I've got my slide all set up, and these parts I want to leave interactive, so I'm going to move them off on the side. These are the parts that I want to glue down. So, file, download, ping. I'm going to create a new blank slide just to show you how to go about uploading it. I'm going to click on Change Background, choose an image, browse, and it's going to be in your Downloads folder, and it's going to be named whatever your Google Slide Deck is named. You click on Open. Once it's done uploading, I'm going to click done and it pastes it down. I cannot move any of these parts now. So I will go back and I will select these, control C to copy them, click on slide two, control V to paste them down. I'm gonna hold shift as I drag them over so it comes straight over. And now this is done. It's ready for the kids to move these into place to answer their questions. But if I look, this bugs me. It's not very clear. If I go back to my original slide, this is nice and crisp. This text is nice and crisp. This is a little bit blurry. So yesterday I discovered another way to do it. And I'm going to show you that. It uses master, slide master. So I am going to shift click on everything that I want on my slide. Control C to copy it. I am now going to, I'll create a blank slide to show you how this works. I will go to view master. Now these are all the masters on the side and I chose a blank. So I'm going to select that again. And when I see the blue around it, I can control D, command D on a Mac to duplicate it. And I'm gonna rename this. I'm going to rename it slide one because that's what it will be when we're finished. Now I can control V or to paste it down, click off on the slide, on the side, go to background and I'm going to check the color, select the color that I want. Now, if I go back to the navigator, I'm going to click on slide two that I was working on and it hasn't changed, but that's because the layout applied to it right now is the blank one. I'm going to right click, apply layout, Go to slide one, and now you will notice that this looks just as good as the original. This is when you, oops, <laughs> this is when you paste down the background. This is using the master. I can now just go down here, click on one, do control A to click to select them all, control C to copy, control V to paste them down and my kids are ready to go. I definitely encourage you to use the view master one me method to do this. All right, I hope that helps you.